So you're obviously creating content that solves pain points, such as going for a job interview. In other words, you're providing the answers and tips and frameworks for people, um, which is great. Now, um, I came across a really interesting insight regarding creating content, and um, it was not just go and create content, but record what you do and what works, and then create a framework from it. In other words, the content comes out of recording your processes and then putting them into a framework, which I thought was, I hadn't heard, look, we maybe have thought about it, but I really like the reframing of, of the content creation was record and create. Um, so the recording becomes the creation. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I think one of, one of the things that we focus on is, um, yeah, ov- obviously a, a huge part of what we're doing is creating content. And as as time has kind of gone by, we've become more sophisticated at the way that we plan content uh, and write content and create content to make sure that it works. And I think so often, um, you know, we hear things like content is king. And so we're like, okay, right. Yeah, let's let's produce loads of content uh, because everyone says that's king, but um, not necessarily basing that on insights on maybe what is ranking on our website already or what what content or topic clusters do we have already? What can we build upon? And then how does that relate to what people are actually searching for? And I think using tools like Ahrefs, uh, which is a super powerful yep. tool, yep. Um, using tools like ClearScope and Market Muse to optimize and write content about the right things. Um, these are all, I want to create content that I know is going to rank and there's, know is going to do something. And that matches a really specific user intent because if we don't, we end up creating a whole ton of work for ourselves, publishing content, um, and it doesn't do anything. So there is like there is a case for creating more, you know, passion-based content. And so for each of our websites, we typically have a podcast where we kind of blur the lines of content a bit more. Mm-hmm. But but for our written content and our for our video content, we're very focused on okay, well, let's create stuff that people actually want to view or um, stuff that they actually want to to read about. Mm-hmm.